to OKC. Drove in from Dallas last night, got a hotel room, woke up early to do sunrise here at Lake Hefner. How cool is this lighthouse? When I think Oklahoma, I did not think lighthouse on a lake, mm -hmm. but I've already been pleasantly surprised. I can't wait to see what else we get into for the day. Let's check it out. Let's go. wheel right now I am vibing in the Wheeler district <laughs> I am looking at the Oklahoma River the OKC sign and what used to be the Santa Monica Ferris wheel <laughs> that they bought on eBay in 2008 yes an Oklahoma City real estate developer bought this Ferris wheel on eBay and a little over 10 years ago and now it's aptly placed in the Wheeler district which is just, I'm assuming south of downtown. Just, just right outside of downtown. Oh, I could lay here all day. How cool is this? This is the same one in the back of like Forrest Gump, Titanic, a lot of other movies that are made famous in the late 90s, early 2000s. It's huge and beautiful. And you can actually go for a ride for only six bucks. Not a bad gig. We're gonna go do brunch. We're finally about to go eat brunch at Jones Assembly. It's got some regional dishes. It's got some really cleverly done cocktails and different like elevated regional cuisine. And I'm so hungry and the food and reviews look so good. Let's go. So full. That was really good. So good. Oh man, yum. We got the scratch biscuits, which were $9. I was like, that's kind of steep for biscuits. I'm from Louisiana. Biscuits cost like two cents to make. Um, but they were the perfect tiny little biscuits, like half dollar size biscuits with the perfect cinnamon butter and some like warm apple jelly. Yeah. Uh, the restaurant is an old model tea factory, so it's a really cool experience to be at something so historical in OKC. I said they've kept everything. The tables were made from the wood, still in the factory. The brick is the existing brick that was here 100 years ago. And uh, the just vibe of the place was so cool. Like, I know they do concerts, but I felt like I was at a cool concert, yeah. even cool without it going on. They were showing soccer on one screen, breakfast activities on the other. Ugh, I want to come back. One stop we knew we wanted to make while visiting OKC was to the Oklahoma City National Memorial. On April 19, 1995, a domestic truck bombing took the lives of 168 people. A peaceful outdoor memorial now exists where the office buildings once stood. Expect to spend between 20 and 90 minutes to visit and reflect. Store, so we're gonna go check out Commonplace Books in Midtown, and it looks precious inside. <laughs> See what books I can find as well. We're at Ends of the Earth Coffee. We really need a good caffeine punch, so we're really excited to get into it. Let's check it out. All of these office buildings and it's really industrial area they had small meeting room spaces they had little nooks that you could work in different things like that and they have really unique merchandise so that was really cool we were looking at all the different kinds of merch and all the different kinds of coffees it was just a really good find so we have made it to Bricktown in Oklahoma City 
and we're getting ready to walk around so I'm switching my uh, flats for some tennis shoes so we can go biking. Also, right in the heart of Bricktown is the Oklahoma Sports Hall of Fame and the OKC Dodgers Stadium. Woo! Let's go Dodgers, fan of the Major League, so I'll accept the Minor League. Let's go. Check out this parklet. It's a little park in the middle of Bricktown area where you can just sit and enjoy. It has these string lights and you can just sit in the shade and enjoy the trees over the top. Let's ride. So I love biking through any downtown city, especially when I'm traveling by myself as a solo female traveler for any reason, for work or for fun, whichever. Um, it's a great way to see downtowns and different little areas you're not so sure about because you can get away fast and you can speed through and see what you want to see most, especially if you're on a time crunch. So if you want to see the overview of it, it's a great way to get your bearings and then know where you want to come back to um, and what you feel safer on for yourself. Bikes are also a really cheap option instead of doing a Lyft, Uber, taxi, anything like that uh, this was a dollar for an hour and I think it's like 12 cents a minute from that so it should be less than like three bucks to ride around downtown so let's see if I need to adjust the seat feels oh that's cute anyways feels good enough to me so let me get off the sidewalk and I'll see you later used to actually just be a warehouse district uh, and then in 93 somewhere in the 90s they decided to revitalize this area put in a ballpark a one mile canal that actually connects to the Oklahoma River which was news to me um, and make it into a little bit of an entertainment district so we've got like tons of shops and restaurants and I'm looking at mini golf there's a kid bouncing come look at this you can do the water taxis that are $13 for adults $10 for kids and they take you around the whole one mile canal that lets you really see the whole heart of this district. I am excited for this early dinner. <laughs> we were popped by Mexican radio. Everything is so rainbow themed and they sell a rainbow tres leches. Speaking of everything being rainbow, I love again tres leches. <laughs> I am totally gonna order that. Andrew ordered a Dole Whip drink. It sounds like a Dole Whip margarita, but it also has a fruity pebble rim. Like people do a salt rim, fruity pebble rim. And I got the black cherry mark, changed it up. At the Ahi Tuna Taco, which is on butter lettuce, and then fried chicken taco. Just a piece of fried chicken. I got the Jack, which is Beef, cheese, lettuce, tomato, and then looks awesome. We got the rainbow tres leches. And it looks more like a seven year old's birthday party, but I'm into it. It's perfect. fantastic 24-hour trip. It has been such a good little getaway. Um, I'm pleasantly surprised by Oklahoma yes. City. I would definitely come back. I think it's so easy and affordable. So what was your favorite part? I would say the revamping of the warehouse district and making oh, that Bricktown? into, yeah, Bricktown and bringing that into like kind of a, a visitors area with restaurants and mm -hmm. the, the water taxis and that things like that. Canal. It was really cool. Like yeah. It just being able to take those older areas and make them really unique and special is really a neat thing to see in a city that yeah. um, makes it come, come alive in a lot of ways. What stands out most for OKC to you? Hands down, Jones Assembly. <laughs> the brunch this morning was incredible and that was honestly still just like one of the coolest restaurants I've been to in a long time. It was unbelievable the food the vibe the music also the amount of corgis downtown yes we've seen so many corgis since we got here and it's magical <laughs> and there's not enough wind in oklahoma <laughs> 
to not keep your hat off your head. So that wraps up 24 hours in OKC. Beautiful city. We'll see you soon.